Historically, race film has been understood as films made for African American audiences featuring primarily all black casts. These films were made starting in the 1910s, stretching into the 1950s, and comprise a range of genres um, from comedies to westerns to melodramas to social message films to kind of hybrid genres combining um, vaudeville acts with comedy routines, with loose narratives strung through. So to understand them as a unified genre is really problematic, and we really need to think about them as uh, a weaving together of different practices for uh, an alternate audience. Understanding that the audience appeal for black cast films um, was really derived from a sense of dissatisfaction at the way Hollywood and mainstream films were representing African Americans and African American lives. And so race films came in to show, in a sense, the incredibly com complexity and diversity of the black experience in the United States. For example, 1920s Within Our Gates is imagined as a direct response to Birth of a Nation and takes the terms of Birth of a Nation, inverts them, and presents an image and um, a kind of alternate history of the black experience in the United States as a direct response to kind of the lies and the misrepresentation of history that Griffith presents in The Birth of a Nation. One of the earliest race filmmakers was a filmmaker named William Foster, who was working in Chicago in the 1910s and made early comedies, one real comedies, um, that he, he showed in Chicago to black audiences. And they received a lot of positive attention, including from the Chicago Defender, for which he wrote. Um, but they were not without controversy. Many of these films featured aspects of black life that many people thought w shouldn't be shown on screen. Um, things that weren't necessarily part of the uplift mission and message of respectability. And so audiences, while very happy to support the work of a black filmmaking entrepreneur and understanding the importance of centering black images and black lives and people on screen, also, we're very concerned about what kind of representation um, someone like William Foster was representing. The term race film really applies to a set of films, over four, 500 films, that were produced from the 1910s to the 1950s as black cast films imagined for a black audience primarily. But I think there are important afterlives to race film that we can think of now. And certainly in the careers of filmmakers like Tyler Perry, um, you see a filmmaker who's interested primarily in reaching, at least initially, uh, an African-American audience. And while I wouldn't call Tyler Perry a race filmmaker per se, I think he's coming out of the same legacy of filmmakers like Oscar Micheaux, Spencer Williams, and others.